So here we are, YouTube, um, getting ready to run a 103 mile fuel economy loop uh, using the Silverado with the 3 liter Duramax. Um, this is going to be a little bit different than other ones that you guys have seen. It'll be very similar to what the fast lane truck does, um, but I've got a special surprise. Um, the truck is going to be doing a regen during this fuel economy loop. Um, so this would pretty much be worst case scenario um, for highway mileage. Uh, you can see here we're going to use the same two click method where we'll let it fill up and then stop and wait 30 seconds and then finish filling it up to make sure that it's actually topped off. Now with diesel, um, diesel fuel does actually foam a little bit, so that can skew your numbers. Plan is to use the exact same pump uh, when I get back here at Meyer. Um, you can hear it getting close to being full, so we'll wait here 30 seconds. actually see how much uh, extra gets put in after the 30 seconds is up. And here we go. So we are now filled up and ready for our for our fuel economy loop. So we're going to go ahead and uh, reset our trip computer here. Um, so we do want to reset it. Come over to here. And we're going to go ahead and start out on our uh, fuel economy loop. And during this, uh, during this fuel economy loop, we're going to be doing 70 miles an hour. We are on a 75 mile an hour road, so we shouldn't have any interference at all. Um, hopefully it'll be a clean run out and a clean run back. Um, again, back to the same, the same pumps again, and we'll see how everything uh, works out. So we're gonna use uh, light throttle. Um, plan is to use cruise control. We'll get up to get up to uh, 70 miles an hour and and set the cruise control and see how she does um, mind you I do have the towing mirrors on this truck if you guys haven't seen my other videos about some of the features and stuff um, it is an LTZ um, it has the tow mirrors has the power running boards um, there's been some questions about how much payload capacity this has um, and I'll go ahead and let you guys know now, it's 1,600 pounds is the, is the payload capacity. Um, and I do have it on manual cruise control, uh, just so that the system doesn't take over and try to adjust my speed for me. Hopefully, in a little bit, the, the speed limit will up to 75 miles an hour, and people can go ahead and pass by me. Today it's um, 69 degrees out. I do have the air conditioner running um, during this test, so I'm not doing a complete eco run. This is just, a, 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 I would say, more or less a standard run. We do have low winds today. They're four to five miles an hour, um, kind of coming from the north. This trek that I'm taking is on Interstate 69, um, east of Flint, Michigan, heading towards Port Huron. Um, I'm going to actually get off and exit just before 94, uh, where 94 and I-69 come together, and we'll cross over and then head back west um, again to the, the Meyer fuel station. I typically use Meyer fuel because Meyer has basically one place that they get all of their fuel from. So if they if they have good fuel then they've got good fuel and if they don't then basically i'm in trouble because all my diesels have been running on the the same fuel um, the whole time 
Um, it's also considered premium diesel fuel, which means that it's supposed to have a higher cetane rating, and a higher cetane rating typically translates into lower, um, lower emissions and uh, better fuel economy. So here we go. Um, right now we're averaging only 21 miles per gallon, um, but we are going to get ready here for a regen. Um, so here we are up to 100% soot and the regen process has just started. So this is 4492, um, 4492 slash 93 miles. Um, the regen will take about 10 to 14 miles, something like that. So out of this 100 miles, we're gonna have one tenth of it uh, that will actually be trying to clean off the filter. So in the interest of uh, trying to make this video not a complete bore, um, I'm actually speeding up and I'm also gonna chop out some of the uh, distance information. So you can see there that we are running um, you know, somewhere in the 23, 24, 25 mile per gallon range when the the unit is actually under regen. Um, I think by the end of this regen cycle, we're, we're somewhere around 24 to 25 miles per gallon. So getting on the freeway, of course, takes a little bit more fuel um, than just traveling down the freeway. A couple of, couple of notes. Um, for you guys. So we started out with this uh, regen actually, or we started out this fuel economy um, loop with the truck already warmed up. It does take additional fuel in order to warm up the truck um, to be able to get the diesel oxidation catalyst lit off and also the nitrous oxide or oxides of nitrogen catalyst uh, up to temperature. So all of that was already done um, before we started this particular loop. Um, all kinds of data is there on the screen, unfortunately, um, without having enough uh, user or without having enough people viewing the videos and having enough subscribers, I'm not able to do a long enough video, or I would say a longer video. So we're gonna jump here from uh, 22 miles to like 27 miles. Um, you'll see at 28 miles, we're already up to 27 miles per gallon. Um, the run that we did end up doing today was pretty darn clean. I had a couple of times when I had to uh, slow down a couple miles an hour, um, and then a couple of times when I sped up a few miles per an hour. The truck itself runs at about 1,670 RPMs at 70 miles an hour. Um, you can see there on the screen, you'll notice the little green car will pop in and out. Um, again, this was not done as an overall economy run um, or trying to see if we could get the best fuel economy. So here we are at the middle point and getting back on the freeway. So by the time we got to the middle, we were up to 29 miles per gallon. It did drop down a tiny bit uh, when we got back on the freeway. Overall, this run is fairly uh, flat. I mean, there's a little bit of elevation loss on your way from Flint to Port Huron. You're actually heading down towards the lake. Um, so we do go down a little bit, but in the middle, there are some minor hills and stuff that end up, uh, you end up going over. Uh, so we do are actually climbing again on our way back towards Flint. Um, so right now we're at 77 miles and around 29.2 miles per gallon. There were a couple of a couple of semis and we didn't do any drafting whatsoever. Um, jumped ahead here to um, almost 90 miles and we're still at the 29.2 mile per gallon range. Um, and we'll jump ahead again shortly here to. Uh, almost getting ready to get off of the the freeway so overall the run was 103 miles um, and you'll see here what our final the final score actually was uh, according to the trip computer 
So I actually trimmed off a little bit too much. It was 29.7. So here we go. So 2.949 gallons and that was at 34 seconds. So we're gonna wait till 64 seconds or a minute and four seconds and we'll do our second click. And then we'll know how much fuel we burned during this uh, just over a hundred mile loop. So just to wrap this video up, we had 103 miles, is what, according to Google. Um, we had 3.323 gallons that were put into the truck, and that ended up being 30.996 miles per gallon. Um, looking at the trip computer, it had 102.4 miles total, um, and it registered at 29.7 miles per gallon. So... Um, in general, including a regen, I think this is great fuel economy. Um, not exactly sure what I would have if I didn't have a regen. Maybe one of these days I can go through and run another video. Um, please make sure you guys rate and subscribe. Um, ask comments uh, and go ahead and let me know what else you guys would like to see. Uh, I had some ideas possibly doing some other vehicles. Um, so if you guys have anything that you'd like to see, I now have a standard MPG loop that I can do with other vehicles. Um, thanks again, and I look forward to doing more of these for you guys.